today we are working on the dinette area which is going to transform the camper I think to really feeling more homey um, as of right now it's just kind of plain um, so I'm really excited to get the table back in here and get everything decorated um, I think I'm gonna do the above bunk area in a separate video um, and maybe just make it like really fun and playful um, on the inside so if you guys have any ideas for that let me know because I definitely would love to do that it's also like a thousand degrees today and super super humid I am like already dripping so this should be interesting I don't think I have anyone's help today either so I'm kind of doing this on my own but we can do it girl power we got this so so what all right let's get started I thought I'd also show you guys this. I put the door up today, which makes such a huge difference. I'm so happy that this door is in. The bathroom is disaster. Like the bathroom needs so much help. This is probably going to be like our last thing that we do because it's just like a lot. I have some ideas for it, but I can't even worry about it. So I put the door on and I'm just pretending it does not exist for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so let me show you guys what we're working with over here. So here is the before before. This is what it looked like when we bought the camper. Um, there was some water damage, so we had to tear out the walls and basically just start fresh, paint everything white. So there's also this bunk above, but like I said, we're gonna be doing that in a different video. I don't know if you guys can hear the church bells in the background, but they sound so gorgeous. There's a little bit of wind, so it's not so hot. But this is something that we also need to work on for the camper because when you're inside the dinette, you can see this and it doesn't look too hot. Basically, we just need to replace this paneling here because it's broken and it's obviously not too pretty. So I'm gonna see if I can at least stand this up so we can get some light in the camper and just get this out of the way. Okay, this already made such a huge difference. That looks so much better. I'm gonna open up all the windows, get some fresh air going. So right now I'm working on getting these screens back in, but they were super dirty, so I just took the hose and I cleaned these off. There was also some paint on them, but the hose was strong enough to get all of that off, luckily. Also, I know I'm really stylish with the Crocs, but they're just so comfortable, um, especially when standing on your feet all day renovating. So I take comfort over style, but I guess they are coming back in fashion, so maybe I'm fashion forward. Um, so anyway, now I have the table and I'm going to clean this off. I did not realize how dirty this table was. So if you guys are renovating a camper, make sure you clean anything that you're keeping so, so well. As you guys can see, this was me going over it twice and I had to probably go over this six times and each time it was just so dirty. Um, but I finally got it clean and now I'm just putting back in all of the screens. So the window frames are gold and some of you guys suggested that I spray paint them. I was originally intending on it, but I actually really like the gold. I feel like it helps to keep the camper sort of vintage looking. So I'm gonna keep them gold for now. Maybe eventually I will spray paint them. But what I did spray paint was all of the hardware from the camper. So this is all of the original. Um, this one door I love. It is so beautiful. I wish every single door in the camper looked like this, um, but it doesn't unfortunately. I know I can do some DIYs to make it look like that, but it would just be a lot of work. So I'm just taking the hardware and putting this back onto the doors. I thought at one point maybe I would want to just buy new hardware, but I ended up actually liking this one. So I'm just putting all of the doors back up in this section of the camper. So the doors are in, 
and the window frames are in. It took so much longer than I thought. I feel like this happens all the time. I always think things are going to go by so quick and it takes forever. Um, but now that all of that stuff in, it's starting to come together a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the table and attempt to put it in by myself. Hopefully I can do it. I think I can do it. I feel pretty confident to do it. Um, after that, we're going to put in all the cushions and decorate a little bit. Um, I can't fully like execute this whole area today because I really need to go to stores and look for decorations and just get like things to make this look more homey and just have more of like a fun vibe to it but obviously stores are closed so I can't do that so I think this will be like phase one of the dinette makeover and then we'll do a phase two where I put like more stuff in it but we're just gonna start with this it's gonna make a big difference so let's get the table in I'm having issues with this clearly but um one of my biggest tips for campers is because you're most likely gonna unscrew everything so when you unscrew it make sure you put them in like cups and label them this one says dinette nails and things so it's really important because if you lose screws and like all of the little gadgets and whatnot gadgets and gizmos <laughs> um, to what you need it's going to be so annoying to try to replace it so we have everything in here that I need I just have to figure out how to actually install this properly. So, let's see. This goes here. These go here. <laughs> this is so awkward. It's literally on my knees right now. You guys can't see that part. Um, how do I do this? Oh, 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 oh. Who else has to say this little rhyme to remember what way to do the drill? I don't know if it's just me. Sometimes when I'm, well, not sometimes, I feel like it's all the time whenever I'm using a drill. I always have to do that to figure out which way it goes. All right, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Basically what I did so far is I inserted these um, little plates and I think that the table should just slide in. I can't remember how I took it out. I just did the attempt one of getting this in and I just like scratched up the whole wall because it fell. Again, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. So we're gonna try this again. It's just hard to grab this. How the heck do I get these things in? I think that these bottom pieces have to go in first, maybe. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. Ooh. Okay. I keep saying okay. I'm like, okay. 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 I think I got it. I think I got it. Just gotta like this down at an angle oh oh my gosh I did it beautiful oh my goodness I can't believe I did it I also scratched the table in the process of it it's just like paint I'm gonna have to try to get it off it's just like not rubbing off but thank god table is in I might want to like spray paint these or something I didn't think about that but whatever, I'm just having the tables in. I'm dripping sweat right now. Um, it's just so muggy out. My face is really glowy. So maybe that's, maybe it looks good on camera. I don't know. But anyway, I just brought over the cushions. If you guys didn't see, 
I showed you how I reupholstered these cushions using a drop cloth and I only used one drop cloth so it literally cost me nine dollars to reupholster all these cushions so I'll leave that video down below um, I'm just going to put these in I'm so excited I feel like this is gonna make such a huge change let's see and also with these cushions I put Wayne's coating on the back of um, these little seats so that I could either put the cushion or it has Wayne's coating which looks beautiful so I'll show you guys what that looks like but I'm just gonna put this in quick so here's what it looks like with the cushions in. The cushions look so good. Definitely once I get like the window treatment in, I feel like that's gonna change it so much more. And I have to get like the stickers off the windows. I have to decide if I'm painting um, the walls back here or not. And like once we get the refrigerator, have a really fun DIY for this that we're gonna remodel it. Um, but yeah, so here's what I was saying. You could either have the cushion or if you take the back cushion off, it's this beautiful Wayne's coating, which looks really pretty. So I'm gonna leave this though for now, and what I'm gonna do is decorate it with what I have so far, um, and then I guess we'll see how we feel. Underneath here, there's one of those normal, like little um, clicky lights, but I thought it would be fun to do a chandelier. So I'm gonna put this up here, maybe have it like hang, I just don't want it to hang too low or I might put it like more so back here. Um, I did make a video on how to make some fun basket lights, so I'll also link that down below. I think what I'm gonna get is one of those little plates um, that looks a little fancy and stick it here and then go like that and then this just plugs into an outlet. So I'm gonna have to run to Lowe's after I decorate to go get the supplies for that and then I'll hang this up. So I made a trip to Lowe's and these are what I was looking for for the light. Unfortunately, they only had these really big ones. I want to get a white decorative one that would fit this little circle here um, and then we can put the chandelier through it and I just think it would look so beautiful. So I'm going to do my research and look online. So I just kind of hung the chandelier in that little hole for now, um, but the chandelier will plug into the outlet over there and then the cord will swag. Is that the word swag? I think so. Um, over. Um, but anyway, this is the final result so far. I love how it came out. It feels so light and airy and beachy and tropical and just really exciting. I cannot wait to start traveling in here. I feel like having this room be the first room that's semi done, it just makes me super excited and I feel like all of our hard work is finally paying off. Um, I'm going to sit with this for a little and see if I want to actually paint this room or just leave it white and just add more decorations. I'm very excited to hopefully get some more decorations for this at some point. There's Connor <laughs> peeking in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!